Man. Listen, you've got to do me a favor. That's what I live for. Sarcasm is for winners, Alan. <laughs> What can I do for you? Chelsea's somehow gotten it into her head that Mom is, you know, human. <laughs> you need to set her straight. Why don't you set her straight? I tried, but she doesn't believe me. Probably because I turned out okay. <laughs> she needs to hear about Mom from somebody whose life is completely wrecked and unsalvageable, i.e. you. Thanks. And uh, what do you expect me to say? I don't know. Just... Tell her about your phobias, your obsessions, your failures with work, marriage, and parenthood. She'll connect the dots. You know what? I think I'll pass. Oh, come on. I always back you up when you need me. When have you ever backed me up? Okay, let's just stay focused on my problems. <laughs> Listen, Charlie, I'm not going to argue that we didn't have a difficult childhood, but really, who had a good one? And isn't it time we forgive and forget? Where's this coming from? No, I'm just saying that maybe our lives would be richer if we let go of this pointless resentment toward our mother and, and, and just move on with our lives. She got to you, didn't she? <laughs> what are you talking about? What did she do? Pay off your car? Get that dead black tooth fixed? <laughs> Listen to yourself. Excuse me, I have to go to work. Hold it. What? Your watch. What about it? It doesn't have Hamburglars on the wristband. So? Let me see it. No, it's mine. Let me see it. Let me see it. This is a Rolex. You sold me out for a watch. Hey, I did not sell you out for a watch. I sold you out for a certified Swiss chronometer. Stainless steel submariner. Waterproofed up to 300 meters. And look, it winds itself. You put it on your right arm, it'll run forever. Oh, good thinking. 